What's going on YouTube? What's going on my fellow Hunter subscribers and collectors? It's your boy the sick one and I'm back with another one and today we're going to take a look at this XM Studio quarter scale Sandman from the Sinister Six. Let's go! What's going on, SMC Squad? What's going on, my fellow Hunter subscribers and collectors? It's your boy, the sick one, and I'm back. What's going on, y'all? Once again, if this is the first time you're watching this video, um, if you've been watching my videos and you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please help out the channel, help out the entire SMC Squad, and hit that subscribe button right now. It doesn't cost you anything, it doesn't hurt, it actually helps out the channel. And it actually shows me that you guys are supporting everything that I'm doing when I'm bringing you these crazy badass statues. So please also hit that like button because that like button helps a lot as well. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell and turn on all post notifications so that you can know when the next video drops and you get alerted. Um, thank you guys for coming through and thank you for coming to the home of Sick Mansion Collectibles and, and just hanging out with your boys so we could take a look at another very nice statue uh, from XM Studios. So this is XM Studios Sandman from the Sinister Six. Um, everybody knows that new Spider-Man movie is coming out and, and um, you know, um, in celebration for that, I've been always wanting to do an entire Spider-Man war and I've been buying so many damn Prime 1 Studio statues that I've lost focus for a minute but i gained focus again and i started hunting down all of these pieces even beyond the sinister six i'm trying to get um an entire uh, brand new war in one of my statue rooms phil um i said uh, in an earlier video that it, I, I have it set up to hold 21 statues um i'm almost a little more than half there um but there's still a lot more pieces that i'm looking for a lot of more pieces that I'm hunting for um, to put on that wall uh, to display in the room. This is just another one. And at this time, I would love to thank my boy, Craig. Craig, thank you so much for this piece. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about our homeboy, our boy from Half Fast Reviews, our homie, Craig Walker. What's up, homie? Thank you so much for this piece. Um, once again, he brought me the other piece as well, uh, which was Bocha. And so he brought me Bocha and he brought me this piece at the same time. Um, I had these in the boxes for quite a few weeks. Um, it's been a minute since he came through the Six Mansion to visit Six Mansion and um, also looked out and did me the favor and bring me the pieces, man. Um, I really do appreciate that, man. Thank you, buddy. Um, you guys go ahead and go check out his channel. He got a phenomenal channel. Um, he does some great reviews, um, very detailed. Um, just check him out. He's a good dude, funny dude, too. Um, but anyway, man, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this Sandman. And as you can see, I have him in a full transformed Sandman um, um, look. Uh, so this does come with switch outs. You can actually switch out uh, the bow pans and put regular arms, his flesh arms, and also put um, his regular portrait on. Um, I have him like this because he's Sandman and you want him to look like Sandman. So I'm, I'm going to keep him posed like this. Um, this is a really, really nice statue. Um, I love it. They, they, did, they did some good stuff here. And there's also a couple of things here that is kind of, I really don't like, but it's, it still doesn't, um, it's still not deterring me from owning the statue. I'm glad I have it. Um, real nice piece. So everybody, y'all know where we start at here in Sick Mansion. We start at the base. So let's get ahead and take a close look at the base and work our way up the statue. Let's go. So when we take a look at the base, y'all, um, I, I, lo I love what they did here. Um, mostly love the texturing job that they did on the statue, man. Um, <coughs> if, if I would have even thought about what this is, man, I would have said this was sand. It was made of sand. But let's get ahead and start at the back of the base um, where they have like there's no crossing um, thing here. Uh, 
I mean, it, it's cool, but I don't know why they would put this in the back of the base where you can't really see it. Because it doesn't matter how you, you, it doesn't matter how you pose. Look, when you look at the statue, I mean, you're either going to pose them like this or like this. I mean, you're not going to pose them like this. So why would they put this back here for? That's one thing that I got a problem with. Um, they they could have put it in the front. They could have put it around here somewhere like this. Um, when I'm when I'm displaying it, I'm gonna display it like this. This is the way I'm gonna display it because it doesn't make no sense for it to be in the back. I, I don't even know why they did that. So for the review, we're gonna leave it right there. But um, as it keeps going around, you're gonna see it, it's just um, um it's just a flow of sand. It looks like sand um, all the way around. It's simple. Um, his leg is the the from the calf down is disappearing into the sand because his leg is turning into sand as it's going up. Um, as it keeps going around, you're gonna keep on seeing this texturing of the sand. Um, if you look behind his right leg, um, you're gonna see this, um, this gigantic concrete beam with all these roll bars going through it. Um, it's really nicely detailed. Uh, nice paint, nice paint, you know, it's just simple. It's painted great, there's damage to it. Um, they could have did a little bit more work to it though. They could have put a little bit more texture into it. Not gonna lie. Um, it looks good. And now uh, the rebar, it, it looks really nice. The, the rebar looks good as going through the cement. Uh, pretty cool. Um, and it's just, as it keeps going around, you're gonna keep seeing the sand. Um, and then you're gonna look at his, uh, his left leg and you're gonna see that his leg is starting to turn into sand as well. So he's in a transforming, um, um, phase right now. He's transforming completely into Sandman. Um, I just love it, man. I love the paint, the paint that they use for the sand. Um, there's, there's, I mean, the, the texturing and everything they did to this, it looks like they sculpted this and they put glue all over the thing and then they just dipped it in sand and let the sand get stuck to it. Because that's how well that they did the sand. Um, as this keeps going around, you're gonna see the sand going up and it's like swirling, swirling around his body. So you're gonna see that it's going up right here, it's going up along, and you're gonna see his sand is like forming um, to attack. And it's gonna go all the way around, it's going all the way up, 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 it opens up into like this giant fl like flower thing that's going over his hand right over there, and it's just gonna be, it's just you can tell it's just gonna hit whatever. Um, real nice scope, I love it, man. The, the sand on it, it looks phenomenal. Um, let's keep on going. Um, so when you look at his right leg, his right leg is coming um, out of the sand and you, you can see that the bottom part of his, his calf down is turning into sand um, They did a great job with the pants. The pants look like leather like he has on leather pants um, There's really not too much texturing to it. If you look at it, there is markage You can see markings on the pants like leather like what leather does just the impressions of leather um, They did a great job with the back pockets um, the wrinklage behind the leg beautiful They got the seam on the side of the leg very nice scope. I love the paintwork. I love the colors and the shading that they did with it. it. Looks really nice, man. And the shade work looks good. It makes it work even more. As it keeps going around, you're gonna see his belt. They did a great job with the belt, the scope with the belt. Um, real good. The buckle that looks good. The paintwork on the buckle looks real good. Very nice. Uh, his left leg, uh, you can see from the knee up, is starting to change into sand. Um, and you can see the sand coming through the pants. Um, real nice work. There is some texturing to the leather of the pants though. <laughs> it looks good. It looks really good. Love the way the sand is and the sand, it just looks like the, it's starting to change into Sandman. Um, as it goes up, you have his classic um, striped shirt. Uh, love the green paint that they used in it. They got the two different shades of paint. And then the shading is deep green. Um, they got some real nice greens in here, two different kind of greens. Um, if you look on the chest and by the side of his rib cage, um, you can see the sand starting to form and him still transforming into the sand man. Um, there's not a lot of musculature to this at all. It's just your common sand man. Sand man is not known to be one of those gigantic, big, muscular guys. Um, pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and start with his right hand. Um, and, and his hand is gigantic. It's already formed into sand. And once again, you can see all the grains of sand in the entire hand. It just looks like sand, man. And the paint is great. The paint is phenomenal. They did a great job with the paint in here and the, and the shading and everything. Um, you can see it's an open hand. 
um, as it keeps going down towards his shoulder. Um, you can see his shirt, you know, just the sand coming out of his shirt. They did a really good job with that. Um, when you take a look at his left arm, his left arm is formed into like this giant sand weapon with all these spikes. It just looks badass, man. Real nice, real menacing. Um, you know, classic Sandman with his weapons. Um, they did a really good job with that, man. All the spikes and everything. You gotta be careful with these spikes because all sculpted it and it will break. Um, they, it just it would definitely, definitely break. Um, great job, beautiful job. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this portrait. Um, this portrait is is actually when he's completely formed into Sandman. Um, very, very nice paint work with this. Uh, the shade work with this is phenomenal. You look at the side of his face, um, the scope on the hair. You can see like, you know, all the, all the waves on his hair and everything like that, nicely detailed. A lot of line work to the hair, um, giving it that beautiful look. Um, the sand is really nice. It's just all one color. Um, but what they did with the texturing to the skin on the face and um, just the sculpt of it and the wrinklage and everything, even the teeth, the tongue, everything, you can see it all. Uh, the detail on the eyes and the eyebrows and in between the wrinkles in between the eyes. Great job with the sculpt on the nose. Beautiful work, man. And just the texturing on the skin and then the paintwork to blend it in to look like sand. It just looks incredible. Um, it keeps going around. Um, you see his neck. Uh, beautiful work. Uh, great scope. It's just a just a great scope. I mean, there's not much to it, man. It's just sand, man. Um, they, they did a great job. So let's go ahead and just take a look at him um, completely just human before he turns into Sandman. So let's take a look at that. Um, I'm just going to give you a, a, a full-blown look at the statue. I'm not going to go into details with everything. You can actually see what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at him with the arms and the, the portrait. All right, guys. So as it goes around, you're going to see um, his hand. He has uh, the regular right hand, right arm. Um, it's, it's really nicely sculpted, nicely painted. Um, nice flesh tones, good texturing. Pretty cool, it looks good. Um, then you got the, the head scope, the regular head scope. Pretty cool. Uh, take a look at the left arm, and the left arm is, is, is pretty cool too. A human arm, um, nicely painted, nicely shaded. Uh, some nice texturing to it. Not too much to it, um, it's, just, it's just phenomenal. It's just really, really good, man. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, yeah, I really like it. Um, so, um, this is just a depiction, a comic book version of Sandman, um, and that's what I love about this. I, like I said before, I'm really not into the, the the movie statues. I'm sure that they're gonna come out with all these movie statues and everything like that from the movie itself. Um, the only character I'll probably get um, in a movie version is gonna probably be Spider-Man. And whatever else is on there, I just got to take a look and see what they're going to end up making. But I'm not really into the movie statues. But don't sleep because if they did a phenomenal job with those movie statues and they got the right company doing them, this license, I'll probably just get it. But as for now, I really love um, what started um, the love of everything. And what started the love of everything was the comic books. Uh, comic books was before animated series. And comic books is what started the love to... Um, having all of these statues and, 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 and having them, you know, bringing them to life into into a form where you can, you know, where you can put them wherever you want to display your statues. Um, I think they did a great job with the statue. I'm glad I got it in the collection. He fits in just fine. As you can see, um, with these weapon arms and stuff like that, he's pretty, he takes up, he takes up some space. So depending how you put him is, you know, for you to have them and you got to have the space for it. <clears throat> um, that arm over there just makes it like so difficult of where to put him at and stuff like that. Um, but he's a great piece. Um, once again, guys, um, you got this movie coming up, and these pieces here, y'all know how the market is, you know how it is. That once a movie comes out depicting a character, that statue of that character ends up going crazy in the market. Um, hopefully, it doesn't happen to this one, but if it does, um, I think you should go ahead and grab this statue now. This statue is very, very affordable now from XM Studios. Um, a lot of people out there have this statue. You can, a lot of people have them for sale, uh, but I'm also noticing that there's not many available and the ones that are available, they are starting to raise the prices on them. Um, so be aware of that. And just, um, if you got a Spider-Man collection, this is definitely something that you wanna get into and it's affordable right now to add this to your collection and to start building your Sinister Six. 
Um, so that's what I'm doing in celebration of the movie and in celebration to uh, the new wall that I got in one of my statue rooms. And I'm just happy I have it, man. They did a great job with it, man. I love it. Uh, I really love it. And it's, doing, it's giving it justice with the lighting and everything like that. And where you put them at is just pretty dope. So, um, yeah, man. I mean, there's really not that much to it. It's just, a, just it is what it is. Um, it's just right to the point. Comic book version. Sandman, badass. Love it. XM Studios did a great job with this. It's phenomenal. Um, really, really good job. So um, I want to thank all of you guys for coming through for another statue review on SMC channel, Sick Mansion Collectibles. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of your support out there, all you guys out there, everybody that's been coming through to the um, Saturday Night Raw show. Thank you all of y'all for y'all support. Uh, big ups to all you guys, uh, to Aiden, to, 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 to Edwin, uh, um, to Moyo. Uh, to, to everybody out there, man. You know what I'm saying? To Ark. What's up, Ark? Everybody, man. Uh, much love to all of y'all. Much respect to all of y'all that come through. Uh, Romy Rome, the whole squad. Just, there's so many people to name. I can't name all of y'all. Um, but I might be having a whole bunch of you guys on a Saturday night roll show uh, where we just have fun. But, um, man, thank you for coming through. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I hope you enjoyed the statue. And... Wow, sad man is the man. So y'all know what it is. Y'all know how it goes. Let's go!